To get to all that, Pixar Fest at Disneyland Resort and California Adventure will kick off tomorrow. So we sent our Danny Mass and she has a fun assignment today. She is joining us live from Disneyland with a sneak preview. Good morning, Danny. Good morning in Kirika. Yeah, I have a really tough assignment today. No, it's been so much fun. I feel so lucky to be here at Disneyland. We're in California Adventure Park. Right now we have Dan with us this morning. He's the art director for the Better Together a Pixar Pic Pal Celebration. Yeah, there you go. So very cool that we get to talk to him all about the Pixar Pals parade, all the different characters, the floats we'll get to see. Dan, tell us all about this awesome parade. Well, we've been working on this for 18 months. And uh, so the uh, show director, the artistic director, we all got together and we said, okay, how are we going to represent this parade? And we just started going through all the Pixar stories. And um, so again, all of them have their own set of challenges, but for the three larger floats, we chose uh, Luca, Turning Red, and Soul. And then we just started saying, okay, what's going on in their lives now, right? Post film. And uh, it was fun because we just started saying, all right, this is what's happening in uh, Joe. Let's, you know, his students are celebrating him, you know, and then in Luca, uh, you know, the three of them now can hang out together, right, in their watering hole because now they're friends for life and they're, again, better together. <laughs> and then uh, Red, we said, you know what, Turning Red, uh, May can have her own imaginary concert as Red Panda with her friends and with Four Town, even though there's five of them this Four Town, right? So uh, for the three main floats, we thought that's a great story because now they're just friends, right? They're all together. And then of course that resonates with all the other floats too. Absolutely. What goes into creating these massive floats? A lot of work <laughs> and a lot of time. But uh, so 18 months ago, again, we started uh, coming up with concept and you just start sketching away and then you start uh, doing renderings and you get buy offs, you know, from executives. And, and of course, we worked really closely with our Pixar friends. And then you just start drafting and they go into scenic shops and they start building it. You art direct there and they paint it and then it comes to this here and you do rehearsal and here we are. What a cool process. I love that you got to walk us through that. 2018 was the last time we had Pixar Fest. So what's it like, you know, to see it all come to life again this year? Yeah, it's fantastic because, you know, I've been seeing it at night for rehearsals. I got to see it for the first time for the daytime yesterday with guests. So that was uh, that was a fantastic experience because you're looking around, you're seeing their faces, young and old, you know, everyone from different backgrounds, and uh, you can see the ones that they're excited for and this and that. And so just seeing their faces when they see these characters, and I hope these stories, that's the best part about this. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, you guys, Pixar Fest will start tomorrow. It will go through August 4th. I'm going to wave bye to the Incredibles, Jesse and Woody. Oh, and Kirika, they're waving to you now, too. We'll send Aww. it back to you. <laughs> I'm waving back to them. Let them know. Danny, thank you so much. I appreciate it.